New at 10, a nationwide Adderall shortage has people scrambling to find their, their medication, but not all just patients, pharmacies as well. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson takes a look at how this shortage is impacting the natural state and what you can do to deal with the problem. No matter which pharmacy you go to across the state, their shelves probably look like this as people in the pharmacies try to find Adderall. We can't fill a full prescription. Julie Stewart with Medical Arts Pharmacy in Fayetteville says they've been dealing with this problem for months. Medical Arts Pharmacy. Pretty much everything across the board, all of the generic combinations and everything are, are unavailable. So um, we, we try every day to order and every day um, pretty much the the the, the medications are out of stock. And it's just not medical arts. Incredibly frustrating. I've called probably 50 pharmacies between Bentonville and Fort Smith. In October, the FDA announced Teva Pharmaceuticals, which manufactures about half of the U.S. supply of the drug commonly used to treat ADHD, is having intermittent manufacturing issues. While it's not a life-saving medication, it's a life-altering medication. Pediatrician and Fayetteville City Health Officer Dr. Marty Sharkey says this can impact kids and for adults and teens. It makes it harder to do my job. Um, it makes it harder to like just live a day-to-day -day life. So Dr. Sharkey recommends if you cannot find the medication, ask your doctor for an alternative. But even that may not be possible. It's not just Adderall, it's other medications. Adderall is unavailable and these other medications are being prescribed. Now some of them are becoming unavailable because the supply can't keep up with that demand. Dr. Sharkey says to help ration some of the medication, you can just take it during the week. Um, for some people, that is a safe and effective way to, to manage their ADHD. And it's just not Adderall that some pharmacies are searching for. They're also looking for cough and cold medicines as well as liquid amoxicillin. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Michael Wilson, 5 News.